Let's look at the compose mail section now. This is where you can create your mails which will be going to your subscribers. So I can come here, create a new mail. I can select my from details which I have already given in my from email section. I can select the SMTPs. The first one by default is shown as the WordPress PHP email option and the others are the SMTPs that we created. So this can be useful when we have a big list which is having many email IDs, many subscribers. In that case, some of these free SMTPs do not allow sending more than 100 emails at one go. And when we select multiple SMTPs like this, the email IDs in the list will get distributed within these multiple SMTPs and it will behave like a professional SMTP. This is where you can select your list of your subscribers. Again, you can select multiple lists or you can give manually email IDs as well. And this is where you can give a subject to your email. And when drafting the main body of your message, you can take the help from the tools that you see over here. You can either draft it using the visual tools available, which are more like Microsoft Word-like formatting, or you can use the text mode in which you will get HTML formatting based tool. Also, you see that you can use certain variables like name here, here in the black box above, you can see that if you use a variable like this, instead of that variable, that recipient's actual name will be picked up from the SMTP and it will be replaced over there and he will see the message with his name. But apart from these, there are some very new wonderful features are added and you can see over here, one is the spam score check. This will allow you to check whether you have used any words which are detected as spam words by the ESPs, by the email service provider. So, so let me click on this and you can see spam words used here like winner, etc. So this will allow me to take out those words from my mail and my mail will have more chances of making it to the inbox of my recipients and not getting filtered out as junk mail, as spam mail by the ESPs. And further to that, there are some more great features on the same lines to make your mails unique which has been sent out to the same common group but they look different and unique to different people and that is possible by using these spin settings of spin text and spin URL so let's talk about spin text first spin text feature allows you to specify a group of words or text which will be used alternately in different combinations to make your mails unique so that they are not caught as bulk mails by the ESPs you basically get the ability to draft a template mail with many alternate words separated using pipe symbol and mail engine will use those words in various combinations to send out unique mails to your audience similarly spin URL uses JavaScript instead of standard HTML redirection and hides your URLs from the ESPs spin URLs will work only when a real user clicks on them and it will then detect and decode the actual target site through your mail engine JavaScript only then they will be taken to the actual target site so no ESPs can detect those target sites and hence your mails will not be detected as spams and bulk mails by these ESPs. Let's see the spin text option first. So using spin text, you can give a list of words or text which can be used alternately for sending unique mails to different users. So here I'm using just two words, hi and hello. The more I use, the more options will be available for mail engine to try out various combinations. So what will happen here is some of the users will get the mail here with the hi in it and instead some of the other users will get the mail with the hello in it and I'll show this in action in a few minutes. The next option is about spin URL. What spin URL does is it adds auto generated query argument to your all web links to make them unique and that way though none of your mails are the same and that's why these ESPs will not be able to detect them as bulk mails but you have to be careful that you either use those links from the link option and when you update a link in the link section you will be able to generate a short code for that link as well and we will see that in the link sections tutorial video or the second option is in the mail editor itself you insert a link using the a tag the easier way to do it would be to use this insert edit link option and that way it will automatically put that tag for you so let me use the same website link and but this time I'm going to insert it using this link method so I'm going to put it over here and click on apply 
In fact, let me go a step ahead and edit this link and click on the settings. And so that way in the mail, which the recipient gets, it will be shown as visit our site instead name of the website itself like this. What it does in the background when I do this insert edit link option is if I change my mode to text mode, I'll be able to see that it added that HTML tag. So either I have to insert my link using the short code method in my email and the link should be already updated in my links section or I should be inserting my link using this method. In either one of these ways, the, this link will become a traceable link and when anybody clicks on it, I'll be able to track it. Did somebody visit that link and how many times and who did and who did not visit that link. So let me now send a mail and show you these things in action. I'm going to in fact select this option as well where it's going to create a post from this drafted mail in my WordPress site. I'm going to click on send mail and it says send successfully. Let me open those mails. So here I have those mails which which I sent using those options enabled. And you can see in one of the mails on the top here, the recipient has received the mail with the hello because of the spin text, whereas the second mail has hi. Similarly, since we selected spin URL, all the URLs have been added with an auto-generated query argument. But out of those three links in each of those mails, the very first link was a manual link and it's an untraceable one. We just typed it into the email. You cannot know if somebody has clicked on it and you cannot track it. Whereas the other two, the second one was inputted using a short code method generated through the link section. And the last one was generated manually by using the URL option inside the editor itself. And in either of these cases, you will see when the user clicks on that link, it actually redirects to your WordPress site and then goes to that link so that it becomes tracked and it is recorded on your mail engine. That is the beauty of the spin URL. The mail, when it was sent, it also managed to create a post for me. I can go to the WordPress admin page and under all posts, I'll be able to see the post that was created when I clicked on the send button. This is the one which got created and I can view it. Title of that post will be the subject of that email and the page content will be the body of the email itself. If I want to schedule a mail for the future, I can do by this date and time option. First and foremost, I need to make sure that I'm looking at the correct time zone. So let's say India time zone and I would like to sell it at 10.30 p.m. I would like to select it on a particular date in this case and I would click on schedule mail. It says here the email has been scheduled successfully and if I go to my scheduled mail section, I'll be able to see my scheduled mails over there. There are two mails right now which are scheduled for the future. So all my scheduled mails for the future, I can see it over here. I can edit them and delete them from there as well. And if you notice here, there's also a scheduled new mail option over here which actually takes you to the the compose mail section and allows you to do the same procedure that you could do from the compose mail section draft a mail and schedule it at a specific date and time and when you do it comes back to this page and list your newly scheduled mail over here